cozy afternoon i have a candle going i have all my books on my bed i have so many new books that i need to put on my bookshelf tonight and reorganize i am unsure which books i want to put on my bookshelf in the hallway in the living room and which ones i want in the bedroom so i want to organize my bookshelves with you guys tonight i also want to go to barnes right now there are so many new books that I want to look at. So I thought we could go have a fun little cozy night together. It is rainy outside. It is snowy. And so I thought this could be a cozy little vlog. Okay, let's get ready to go to Barton. Here are all of the books I have on my bed. Oh, I need to blow out this candle. I have all of these reads right here as well that I need to organize. And I just moved my desk in here. It actually looked a lot better when I had some of my books stacked right here. So I think I want to do that permanently because it looked really cute. Over here, I want to stack some books on the bottom as well. I think that'll look really cute. Let me show you guys what it looks like outside right now. It is so wintry. I... I'm just so in love. Look how beautiful it is. And the clouds are hanging so low on the mountains. My current read. Okay, this is what I have in my tote bag. So this is what I bring to Barnes. I just have my tote, I got my wallet. Apparently I have earplugs. Don't need those. These are the essentials. A lip mask <laughs> and AirPods. Okay, let's go. Is there something you're looking for in particular? Sun Eater by Ruccio and Expanse by Corey. Ooh. this book. There's so many like good deals. This is a new book from Allie Hazelwood but I haven't read any of her books yet, so I need to read The Love Hypothesis first. I've heard so much about Shatter Me. Welcome to another day of life. Of course, there are like so many things that I wanted to get, but I had a little bit of self-control while I was in there and just made like a mental note of all of the books that are currently on my TBR. I could totally wait. I could wait a while before I buy another book because I have a lot of books to go through right now. So I want to show you guys all of the new books that I've gotten recently because there are a ton of them. I really want to finish a Court of Wings and Ruin this week. So right now we are getting swag. I have been loving a good classic Coke Zero recently. So am I gonna get a Coke Zero? Probably, cause it's so good. I don't know why, but it's so good. I think I may have seen Brandon Sanderson 
in Barnes and Noble, but I don't know. I really don't know. It was just all making sense. <laughs> he was standing there looking at the Brandon Sanderson section. And then, and that wasn't what, I didn't know it was the Brandon Sanderson section until I went back and saw signed copies. He, I was standing at the other Brandon, Sanden, San, Brandon Sanderson section in, in the fantasy section. And then he turned around and looked at that Brandon Sanderson section. And I was like, you kind of look like Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> and then he just like disappeared. He was there for like five minutes. You had a Sanderson sighting? <laughs> I think so. Did I see him or not? And he had like a BYU shirt on, which he teaches at, he's a professor at BYU. So I don't know. Maybe it could just be a BYU fan that just so happens to look like Brandy Sandy and that could totally be it. But the glasses were there. The only thing that threw me off is this person had a hat on. So I couldn't see the hair. So yeah, didn't get anything at Barnes, but Oh, I feel but fine. we wanted plenty of it. We wanted everything. Actually, there's a book that I've really been wanting called Last Chance Books. And it's a romance and it's like a rivalry, um, enemies to lovers. And May we please have a fun straw too? Yes. What color do you want? <gasps> Pink, please. And I just heard them go. So cute. What? It's like I wanted to be like. Little do you guys know, she's probably older than you guys. So show some respect. Uh, <laughs> put some respect on my name. Put some respect on her name. <laughs> so anyway, last chance books. The cover was like pretty mangled. Yeah, it was pretty tore up. Oh, my drink is so good. Do we have a problem? Oh my god. <laughs> Do we have a problem? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am hungry, so I decided I found this pasta in the freezer, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of been in there for a while. So I figured I would go ahead and make it. Oh, oh hi! Hi there. Good boy. I am going to cook up some dinner and then I'll see you guys once it's all finished. Hi, are you gonna come help me? <laughs> okay you guys, I have... <laughs> I have all of my books that I want on my shelf right here, but now it's figuring out how want to organize them I so this is what my shelf looks like right now I took like everything off of it pretty much except this so I have like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and um, some books down here then some random ones up here I'm just trying to figure out where I want everything I think the top shelf I really want it to be colorful do we do shadow and bone up here yeah, we should do, ooh, or on the second shelf. Ooh, that would look pretty. I think I wanna put Six of Crows next to Shadow and Bone, which makes sense. So let's see how that looks. Kind of working on the second shelf first. I like that. Um, I think I do want Akatar all on the first shelf. But I'm not sure. I might put like all of my fantasy on the first shelf. Let me try Avatar right there. Okay, this is what I have so far. Honestly, these would look really good right here, but I wanna keep playing with it and see what I think. Oh my gosh, okay. I kinda changed my mind on the top shelf. This looks so good. I'm thinking about what I should put here because the inheritance games would look so good but I don't have enough room. So maybe one of us is lying and one of us is next, maybe these will fit. I think one of us is lying is too big. Oh yeah, nope. Oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah, these are way too big. Maybe Sweet Heartbreak. Mm, it does look good there, but I could do 
Maybe the hazelwood in the night country? Ooh, that totally works, actually. This is what we've got. Oh my gosh. I'm watching you, Mish. Mishak, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Okay, now on the second row, I'm thinking the inheritance games. I really love these, so maybe these in the middle. I kind of want them to be seen really well, so I might do it this way. Um, or do I break it up like, I don't know. This is so hard. Ah, I'll play around with it. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? What should I do? I don't know. looking um, I'm loving the first two shelves the bottom one I do love actually it still is very cohesive but uh, before the coffee gets cold this is kind of a perfect fit I didn't even plan for that but I want the whole series so eventually I'll have all of that but I think this totally works for right now I think it looks so good I'm going to give you guys a really quick bookshelf tour of how I did it. It's not in any fancy order, or there's really no order to it, but. Okay, first I have Love and Gelato, the whole series right here next to The Summer I Turned Pretty. I love how bright and colorful these books are, so I definitely wanted these on the top shelf. Then over here, I have the Akatar series. I am reading the third one right now, so it's missing, <laughs> but it is pink and so beautiful, so this will be so colorful. Once I have completed the series, next to Akatar, I have Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. I really wanted to pair these together. I think this looks so great though on the top shelf. And to kind of go with like the more grim, darker vibes, I have the Hazelwood in the Night Country. Actually, these are swapped. It needs to be this way. And then once I get Tales of the Hinterland, I'll have to switch this up a little bit. So this is kind of like fantasy section, and then some romance. And then down on my second shelf, I have um, Nicholas Sparks, The Wish. This is a book that my friend let me borrow. And then I have Sweet Heartbreak by Alexandra Moody. I am really excited to read this book. And then I have Till We Have Faces by C.S. Lewis. Um, I actually have a C.S. Lewis section down here, but I, oh, hi buddy. For now, I might change my mind whenever I get more of a C.S. Lewis collection. I might just have like a whole section. And next to it, I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I guess this little section right here is more of murder mystery, thriller. So A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and then One of Us is Lying, and One of Us is Next. I actually never finished this book. I tried reading it two separate times and just could not get into it. But I love One of Us is Lying. It is like one of my favorite books. It is so good. Next to that, I have The Inheritance Games. I think this set is just so beautiful. So 
I definitely wanted it to stand out on my bookshelf. So I kind of did the same thing that I did to Akatar. Then next to that I have Love and Other Words, a few Christmas books, When in Rome, People We Meet on Vacation, and The Newcomer. So I've got some colorful seasonal books, I would say. And then on top of those books, I have Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I have it up here until I can get the completed series. Sorry it's a little bit dark, but then on the bottom shelf, it's a little bit more random down here. So I have the Harry Potter series, and this is actually Ian's. I have a Harry Potter set that I've been kind of eyeing the past couple of months because it is so beautiful. I eventually want to replace this set with my own set. And then in between Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings, right here on the right, I have just a whole bunch of random books. I have All Quiet on the Western Front, which is one of my favorite books. I read it years ago in high school. I think I was a sophomore in high school when I read it and I just loved it so much. Then I have 1984, Reflection, Rediscovered Church. I actually got this at church. And then Marriage After God, Mere Christianity, um, The Stories We Tell, and then um, the C.S. Lewis Signature Classics which has like the screw tape letters and all of his classics in there. So I have some like Christian living slash theology books. I also have some more in my bedroom under my nightstand. So this is what my bookshelf looks like. I love it, that was really quick. I do have some books over here, but these are books that my friend let me borrow, although it's gonna be a while before I can get to them, so I might return them back to her and ask her if I can borrow them in the future. I love it so much, it looks so good. We just have so many books and not enough bookshelf space. <laughs> Next thing on the agenda. I never sit here and vlog. For Christmas, my mother-in-law got me this bamboo bath tray and I am so excited about this. I've been wanting one for a long time, especially for all the book lovers out there. It's really, it's it's a risky game that you play when you bring your book into the bath. And so that's why I just don't really do it. Um, so this is going to be awesome. And you can put your drink on it and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be great. You can put your tablet. The options are endless. So I thought we could try and piece it together. And hey, just know if I can do this, so can you. This is so nice, I love it. Um, that didn't make much sense to me. Oh, oh. All cozy. Ian and I have been reading the Five Solo series together, and we are on Grace Alone. So we've been reading like a chapter a night together. So we're gonna do this. So I took a bath, and it was. So 
so relaxing because the bath salt I used it had melatonin in it and I am like really feeling it for sure I'm exhausted but maybe I'm just tired which is I could that that I could see that I didn't really read that much in the tub because I was in there for like 20 minutes and started overheating and sweating and I was like I should probably get out of here before I like pass out so I got out of the tub got ready for bed did some laundry and yeah now I'm going to read a little bit with my hubby thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight this was so much fun please let me know down below if you like this style of content that I've been doing recently I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video I look super tired and I am tired good night <laughs>